In this video, we talk about collision domain and broadcast domain. Some key terminologies in this video was mentioned in the video sending internet frames. Let's get started with collision domain. As you know, collision happens at layer 1 or physical layer. And HUB is a layer 1 device that introduces collision domain because it creates point to multi-point topology. If you look inside a hub, it actually connects the devices like this. Therefore, all endpoints connected to a hub will join the same collision domain. Any types of Ethernet frames sent from a node in a collision domain will be forwarded to all other nodes in the same collision domain. As you can see, this one here causing the collision because this host send the frame on the Y at the same time with this host. Let's move on to broadcast domain. As you know, switch is a layer 2 device that introduces broadcast domain which represents layer 2 boundary of an Ethernet network. Unlike hub, switch creates a point-to-point -point connection between every two nodes connected to the switch. If you look inside a switch, it actually looks like this. So when a host put an electrical signal on the wire, it can only reach to a switch port and it's up to the logic control in the switch to decide how the electrical signal will be forwarded to other hosts connected to the switch. Therefore, each switch port is a collision domain. As you know, switch uses broadcast frame for a host to communicate with all other hosts at layer 2. And broadcast domain creates a boundary for broadcast frames. In this network, we can create two broadcast domains like this. This is one broadcast domain and this is another broadcast domain. When a host puts a broadcast frame on the Y, switch will forward the broadcast frame to all other hosts in the broadcast domain. For example, this host will send a broadcast frame, so the broadcast frame will be forwarded to all other hosts in the same broadcast domain. And if this host send a broadcast frame, then it will be forwarded to all other hosts in the same broadcast domain. A switch can be configured with some interfaces into one broadcast domain and some into another, creating multiple broadcast domains. These individual broadcast domains created by the switch are called virtual lens or VLAN. So in this network, we have VLAN 1 and VLAN 2. Link that belongs to multiple broadcast domains is called chunk link. So in this network, we have this link is a chunk link. As you know, frames stay within its broadcast domain. Only IP packets travel from one broadcast domain to another. Therefore, a layer 3 device is required to connect different VLANs or subnets together. For example, if this host in VLAN 1 wants to send data to this host in VLAN 2, it has to send via the router like this. So each interface of a router belongs to a broadcast domain. You may now ask the question, why one interface of the router can connect to two different VLAN. The reason is that the router interface can be configured with multiple sub-interfaces and each sub-interface can connect to a VLAN. We will learn more about that in the next video. Let's sum up our video with the keynotes. Hub introduces collision domain because it creates a point to multi-point topology at physical layer. 
Therefore, any types of frames sent from a host in a collision domain will be forwarded to all other hosts in that same collision domain. Switch introduces broadcast domain, which is the boundary for broadcast frames. Only broadcast frames sent from a host will be forwarded to all other hosts in the same broadcast domain. Frames stay within its broadcast domain. Only IP packets travel from one broadcast domain to another. Therefore, a layer 3 device is required to connect different broadcast domains together. Each interface of a layer 3 device belongs to a broadcast domain.